Okay, hi. Um, uh, my name is uh, Dave Henderson. I'm the uh, Chief and Chair of Psychiatry. And uh, I'd like to talk um, br uh, briefly about um, a, a new uh, clinical and research program that is actually an old program. And it's called uh, the Best Partnership for Behavioral Health and Racial and Social Justice. Uh, next slide. And so the uh, BMC has been the home of the, the best team, the Boston Emergency Services team since 2003. And, uh, and when I arrived here at, uh, at BU in, in, in 2015, I was uh, really surprised that there were no papers that uh, came out of this program. And um, um, it, it had been in existence for years and not a single paper. And so one of the first things we did was to turn the best records into a research database. Um, and now there are papers being generated from that. But the best team really, it's, it, it's a mobile crisis team. It goes all over the city. We have Boston, Cambridge. And we also have um, down in New Bedford and Fall River. Um, and then the best uh, program grew up substantially to start to include um, the police co-responder program, um, the mental health court programs, and now an outpatient assisted treatment program. Next slide. And so with all of the um, issues around uh, race uh, that have uh, 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 come up really over the past year or so uh, and the uh, great attention, and I think everybody was reaching out to everybody else trying to figure out what can one do to have an impact. And, and, and a lot of people called me and I'm like, I have no idea really. Um, but, uh, but I had an aha moment and I realized that we could take the best program and its partnerships and leverage that um, in a way that we haven't thought about before. And of course the best program is designed to uh, respond to people in, in crises. And of course, um, you know, uh, for example, you know, we, when we added you know, the police ride along program, we reduced arrest rates by 75%. Um, so we so we know that um, it, it's impactful, but what it also meant is that we had already had re these relationships with um, the Boston Police, um, the City of Boston, um, the Department of Mental Health, um, the um, the trial courts, um, and we wanted to take those relationships and leverage them and start and, and direct the, the program. Um, in, in a different way. And what we did was we started meeting with all of these entities and, and then we added the school systems as well, representatives from the school systems. And we, we realized that we really had an opportunity not only to address some, some racial um, disparities, some mental health disparities, um, we could keep people um, out of jails and stuff, but we also had an opportunity to influence um, individuals who were responding to uh, people in crises, um, where there was clear racial biases um, and, and so on. And so we, we put together this group um, and then we came up with a data sharing agreement so that um, we now have the best program, which is a large database, but we have access to the police data, we have access to the court data, we are, we're getting access to the school data and so we put this all together to, to first, you know, start to understand what are the practices and processes and how does it impact people, but then um, how can we move towards um, change? Um, next slide. Um, yep, here we go. And so what we did was we added a research and evaluation program um, um, to, to this initiative as well as um, we brought in our experts in multicultural training and education. And so there, it turns out, you know, we had opportunities to, to train the police and we, we trained them primarily on mental illness, but really we should be shifting to tr also train them on uh, kind of, a, you know, racial and ethnic um, um, uh, biases and, and, and that sort of stuff. So really to, to not only um, uh, work on one side, but take what we've established and leverage it to actually start to address the racial and social, social justice that we see um, in, in the city of Boston. And so we, so we now have built this um, research evaluation program. Um, next slide. 
this will be the final slide, and, and, and a data, data coordinating, uh, coordination center, um, as well as establish uh, measurable outcomes um, uh, that we can track um, the program and, and certainly re reduction in police arrests, reduction in ED visits, reduction in duration of psychiatric hospitalizations, um, but, but we'll also start to examine change in police attitudes. Um, we'll conduct implicit bias training for police court and, and behavioral health workforce um, and, um, and improve really timely access for patients to behavioral health um, services. You know, one of the things that the final things that we did was we, um, uh, based on the ride along program, the city of Boston gave us an additional $2 million so that we could expand our program um, to so that we have clinicians in every precinct. And so, but, we, but we're rolling it out on um, and doing a case control um, approach to it um, so that we can, we can gather some, some baseline data um, and, and look at outcomes. So, so, so this is actually really uh, quite exciting, but it really leverages, um, I think the strength of, of BMC and BU is all of these um, innovative programs um, and, and many of which have never been evaluated. It's really taking advantage of, of those opportunities. So thank you.